I've imported a car here and as you can see it is made up of different objects and you can apply the technique we discussed in chapter 1 and apply uh, different uh, opacity maps to each individual objects and set up different particle systems for each object and that way you can have uh, absolute control over how your object disintegrates but for the sake of simplicity I will collapse all these objects into a single mess and use one map to control the uh, control the opacity of that mess I don't want these tires to disintegrate so I will hide them and collapse the rest of the objects to one single mess so I will convert all of these to editable poly and attach all the individual objects elements and make it one single object we will reuse the animated gradient we created in the previous session so I will just copy it here and name it mask and you will see why in a while now if I get the material of this object you will see it's already a multi sub object material and in order to use one single map to control the opacity of all these sub objects we have to create a blend material with the sub object material as material 1 and another material which will be used to create the opacity according to a map that we set in the map channel here or rather the map slot here and if I scrub through the timeline here you will see nothing is happening and this is just a video card error uh, but if you render this you will see the green map green material that we used as the second material in our blend material is indeed appearing here and we can fix this by applying a UBW map and set it to cylindrical and now you can see the green material is indeed there and it is appearing properly however as you can see here this is not appearing the way we want it in this particular situation so in order to make it appear according to how we desire we have to do few things here first we will invert the mask here and right away you can see the green material is spreading over the multi sub object material as we move ahead in time which is what we want but it is appearing from the front end of the car which is not what we want we want it to uh, appear from the rear end so to fix that we just have to flip the mapping of this object so we'll go to the gizmo here and flip it horizontally and now you can see it is indeed uh, spreading over the car from the rear end which is exactly what we want here and now you can see we have an issue here you see the green material is appearing on the front side which is not really desirable and this is due to the noise that you see uh, down here and we can fix this by offsetting the ramp a little in the negative direction and you can see here when we render that the front side uh, is fixed but there is some problem in the rear end and this is due to the tiling here so we will turn off tiling here and you'll see that the problem is gone now and now we can use this green material to control the appearance of our car you see if I turn the opacity of this green material down to zero our object will be completely transparent where the green material was appearing now let's build our particle system in an actual production what you have to do is create a low poly version of your model and use it to emit the particles but again for the sake of simplicity I will just use this same object uh, for the emission of our particles so I will just clone it and use it as the emitter I will hide the original mess and then I will create the material for the emission of our particles and this is all the same process we have been discussing in the previous part of this tutorial so I will just copy the 
gradient we have created for the emission of our particles and use this on this object here now you can see here the area from where our particles will emit now all we have to do is add in this object as a particle source and turn off huge sub-object material because we don't have any sub-object sub -object material here now let's hide this object and show our original mess let's do a test render now and to visualize our particles properly I will temporarily give them some geometric shape I'll reduce the size and now if I do a test render you'll see this is the effect we are after here I have loaded the scene from the effects sort that you saw in the preview earlier and what I have in this scene is just a car which is animated and two particle systems one for the disintegration of this car and the other one is for the nanomite like things that will be chasing the car I've cast each particle system one at a time so that I won't run into uh, particle overhead issues and brought them back in using a single PRT loader and now you know that a single PRT loader can be used to uh, load multiple cast files I used a single standard spotlight for rendering this scene and also used HDRI and rendered this scene in V-Ray and for the rendering of these particles I used three standard spotlights and one thing to remember while using multiple light sources uh, while rendering in Krakatoa is you should turn off cast shadow from the object property of the objects that you use as matte objects in Krakatoa Otherwise, otherwise they will create multiple shadows on your particles which is uh, not desirable. After having my renderings done, I took them to my compositing application and this is the final result. Here I have skipped a lot of things about how to render in Krakatoa because we already have discussed those things in chapter 1 and if you haven't seen chapter 1, I really recommend you go, go watch them first and then watch this tutorial and this is absolutely not what you should do on a real production there are a lot of things that goes into making a visual effect sort and here I was just trying to give you a basic idea of how to do a simple scene like this or how to make an approach but the underlying technique is really very robust and you can use this for use this as a base um, for your complex effects sorts. If this tutorial was helpful and you have done something based on this, then it would be great if you share those things uh, on YouTube here. I'll be looking forward to see some of those here. And till next time, happy rendering. Have a good day.